Uh, not many people wear watches uh, these days, but uh, I'm going to show you a collection of my watches, which I have been uh, buying for about 30 years. I'll show you the reason why in the last uh, bit of the video. But so they're all around 67 to, I don't know, 72, 73, maybe some later. There are a couple of examples later. And it's based on, this is a handbag, uh, which I bought with a boot sale, and it's plastic, see it's red plastic. And so I'll show you the association, I'm leaning over all the watches basically, so that's why. Uh, anyhow, I'll start, so here we go. These are ones probably of a later period. And there's a silver one there. Okay, so these are old England. Quite oh, hard with all these watches. So here's some straps. See the old England on there. Some have got the date. A couple of spare straps. There's another spare strap, and they're the tags that they used to put on the watches. So here we go, here's the start of them. Okay, that's the first line. There most of them have got working and I've got original straps in that old England. Worn mostly in the psychedelic period this lot. See the orange colour. Pink as well. Uh, right, so a couple more straps. I think this is definitely one because it had that tag on it. Old England. So here we go again. And he's like massive on the wrist. That one's of a later period. This is the jet set range, so I've got, uh, I've collected one, two, three, four, five of those. Two in orange, two in pink, one, one in blue. Sometimes I wear these watches. Most of them work. My friend fixes them for me very cheaply. There are one jewel. That you can actually see the old in there, see. So psychedelic period, sold in the Beatles shop in Baker Street in 67, 68 period, whatever. See how big they are, that's big. Nice design. Another orange one. Purple strap. Unisex, really, these watches. Uh, probably women wore the big ones, but. Well, anyhow. So they're two the same, yellow with purple. I think you can choose the colour of that, the markings, or the whatever that is, the numbers, different style numbers. See, that's a different style to that and that. Right, and you could choose the strap obviously. Two Union Jet ones. 
67, 68 periods, nice red strap, two spare black straps. I'll show you the boxes because they're over here. <clears throat> God, there's so many of these watches. Dilulu. Fashion watch. So some had Olding and Fashion Watch and some had Richard Loftus, who was the designer. So I've got two, four, six yellow ones, two black ones, and this beach strap one, which came from America. I'm not sure they sold them over here. I haven't seen one sold over here. Uh, here's one. Nice one, with that address on there, 14 Berners Street, London West 1. Some may have been retailed out of the Beatles shop. So each of these boxes had, so you could choose what you wanted, so these boxes have on there the The dial, the case, and the strap. So you can choose. And this is this is oh, it's a six month guarantee. Sold in Lewis's in Liverpool, uh, in Leeds. 1970. That's interesting. Uh, so there's the boxes. So each one, well not each one because some have come off, but see. Anyhow, uh, it's moving on to the next row. <coughs> so these got, I think these are the ladies' watches, size of that. And the dinkier one. And the same size, yeah, look at that. Big thing. This one, my brother very kindly bought me, and instead of having the old England on, he's got Miss Carnaby. Let's see his old England. See, you know. That's beautiful. That's a smaller one. That style I don't really like, it's tiny. Maybe Charles Watts, that's a nice style. And again, that's a small, small one. This is a ladies watch, I think. Look at the size of that. Holding and strap. Thing. This is a nice dial with the original strap. It's got old England on there somewhere. And the bag that came from the States, and this is the bag, the Beach Watch, marketed as the Beat Watch. That's really tiny. <laughs> Carry that to the beach. Uh, so this one is from the States. These are really expensive. They're called steering wheel, steering wheel watches. That's, mine's got cool on it. Look at that, that's beautiful. Quite a bigger one. Not as big as the really big ones. Uh, 
Yeah, some have got all the England stamps on the back, some haven't. They're two dinky ones, really nice. Two postage stamps. I think they're, what date's on there? 70, oh, both 71. So, 1RP must be first class, I don't know. 3P might be first. 1RP would be second, maybe, I don't know. 1971. It's got nothing on the back. Then here are two gold-plated pennies. Quite large, it'd be a nice strap. Both obviously from 67. This is like the psychedelic period time. Where the Beatles rule the world. style small one choosing your colour you wanted choosing the dial right oh here's look at this one this is a this is a belt size of that amazing that's what so that's gonna be worn round your waist obviously Stupid, and they go old England. 1967, so how super cool would you have been wearing that? <coughs> when they didn't really have any telly. And they used to go and watch a lot of bands. The Beatles have stopped by then now. Uh, so this is another psychedelic one. Pretty. That says old England there. Okay, this this is was my no second most expensive from American. I think it cost me eighty or ninety quid. I don't even. Want, well, I've not, not worn that one. I've worn this one. Um, my friend likes this one. It's a big one. This must be, I don't know, 71, 72, with that dial, but I'm not sure, obviously. Big one. And here we go. Coming up to the end here. <clears throat> First, psychedelic one. Orange strap. You probably don't see the lettering, but it does actually say flower power. FL, then OV, then ER, and the hands have got uh, flowers on them. Really nice old England orange strap. Flower Power 1967 period. Second Flower Power one. These are really quite rare, these ones. This has got brown and green with orange, orange hands. Nice black strap. And this support, uh, well, three years ago with original strap. Look at that beautiful original strap. This is my favourite flower power, this is black, uh, purple, green hands. The original strap, I've never worked out how to, uh, mind you, I wouldn't wear that strap without watches. So anyhow, we also got the uh, guarantee that watch, this is the old England guarantee, and it was the 10th of May 67 when it was acquired and it was a competition prize at the Ritz Ballroom in Manchester and there's the winner uh, okay that's another guarantee I've got 
for another watch from 1968. I don't know what the watch was. Uh, actually, I didn't buy that much. I just bought this. So 68. See the periods? 67 to 71 period. Kind of like the space age period. It's what I like to call it. So this is a receipt, a very rarely by Olding and Watches from auction houses. This is 2015 though, and it's for that, that psychedelic watch. Olding and Watches were manufactured by Accurist and some were retailed by the Beatles at their Apple boutique on Baker Street in 68. So I think I've got about five or six watches and I paid 200, 150 plus 54. So um, this is the final watch I'm going to show you. And this kind of like set me like, oh no, hang on a second, I've got this one as well. This one I got in that auction. So it's a finger watch. It's actually got old England somewhere on there, and there's the time. That works. So yeah, this is the watch that uh, I acquired, I think it was about uh, 30 years ago. And there it is. It's my uh, Apple Beatles. Uh, watch from about 68 I sent this man who I bought it from I paid 300 quid for it uh, then uh, it's made for the launch of Apple Records circa 68 uh, and it was given away to members of Apple Records and given to associates and employees including the Apple boutique and then he's speaking about it and then he so oh, this is good and get this nice letter uh, Ringo Starr had had one of these he sold it last year for about it was quite a lot of money but it was uh, it was the one he owned and the man actually spent, in 88, he spent 100 quid re-gilding the watch. But, of course, uh, I wear it, well I used to wear it, I don't wear it so much now, but... Uh, scratched. But you can easily wear, uh, just change you know, one face for another. So take that face out and put a good face in. So that's uh, my Apple wristwatch. And it is large, really quite large on the wrist. But they were the times. People don't use watches much now. So there you go. That's your lot. That's taken me like 30 years to, to accumulate and enjoy and I hope you've enjoyed that uh, showing of uh, collection of watches.